welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. It is a long overdue Primark haul today that I'm bringing you. I'm so sorry it's been so long but I just haven't had the chance to upload Primark content because I've been so busy uploading other Christmassy content in the lead up to December, which it now is. I'm so happy that it's finally Advent time. Advent has begun. I'm a celebrity is thriving. I just love December, but the whole build up to it, to be honest, I love. Anyway, today I have a big Primark haul for you. I've got these two bags and another one down there in front of me. So I'm gonna show you everything I've picked up in Primark over the last month or so. I've just been getting a few bits here and there and kind of saving it for this video for you guys. So if you're a fan of the Primark hauls, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload one. And of course, as always, I will link my Instagram accounts down below. I have two, my fashion one, which is Freya Farrington one, and my homeware, which is Freya Farrington home. If you haven't already, light the candles, get cozy, get comfy, you know the drill get into your PJs, why not? I'm in mine pretty much. This like loungewear set, like jogger bottoms and cozy cardi top is just so, I don't know, perfect for today, which is like an at home day. I've been getting a load of admin done. And apart from that, just chilling. Hence the comfy attire. It's even got a little hood, this one. Anyway, let's get on with the Primark haul and let's start with this bag, which is actually a pretty big bag, but it's only got two pairs of boots in it. Ooh, same boots in different colours. So I actually picked up these boots in both the black and the nude pair. They were, well, sand, they call them. £16 these were. I got them in a UK 6. Sometimes I'm in between 6 and a 7, but with these I stayed true to my size with a 6. And the reason why I ended up picking up both colours is because they're actually very comfortable. If you know me, I can be quite fussy when it comes to shoes and boots and you know, if it's going to be uncomfortable, I just won't wear it, so I'd rather not buy it. Whereas these are really, really comfy. They're nice and padded around the ankle as well, so very warm and cosy. These are the sort of boots that I'm, I'll be honest, I don't really care too much if they get a bit mucky. Um, initially, obviously, I like the idea of styling these as Doc Martens would be styled. I don't have Doc Martens and I'm not 100% sure on them, so I don't want to invest that money into them. But as a style, a plain black version from Primark at £16 is a pretty good like alternative hence why i got the sand color this is also something that like i don't have anything like this i don't have any ankle boots in this color okay i also picked up this which is ah, oh. i also picked up this coat which i just thought was so cozy it's so soft it's quite luxury feeling uh, i got it in a size small which is a 10 to 12 in primark i love the fact that it's double breasted it's this gorgeous kind of teddy fabric but not you know in your face teddy borg style it's just a nice toned down version i also love this beige tone i just think it's so nice it's so much less harsh than a cream or a white in a coat because it's light but I don't feel like it would show marks up as easy as cream and white would. So that is why I love this. It's got nice, big, spacious pockets as well. Just a good staple coat at £30, this one, which is kind of standard for Primark winter coats, for the good ones anyway. So I'm happy with that. I also picked up some cosy leggings. I feel like I get a pair of these every year. And I'll be honest, they are a little thinner than they have been in the past. These are definitely leggings, whereas the ones in the past that I've bought from Primark in this kind of Fair Isle snowflake print have been slightly thicker. Six pounds they were, so pretty reasonable. I got them in black, but they also have them in like a dark red color as well. <sighs> Cozy leggings, six pounds, woo! Okay, I've been after a lighter colored pair of leather pants. I have been living in leather pants pretty much ever since September. Leather pants, leather leggings, I've got a whole variety of different shapes, sizes, styles, fits and everything. And I don't have, do I have any light ones? Not that I can think of. Not like these, which are more of a trouser straight leg style leather pant in this gorgeous stone shade. 
nice big pockets and the slight paper bag waist just makes them a little more flattering uh, because a lighter coloured pant can sometimes be unflattering but these are really nice. They're actually part of the Stacey Solomon range that Primark have done and so they are £15. I also picked up these, speaking of leather pants, these are super high waist skinny trousers in a size 10. Now when I saw that super high waist I thought yes I'd be intrigued to see what these are like they're so high. They're not they're just a high waisted pair of jeans like they're not any different than my other Primark straight leg jeans which just sit you know sit nicely on your waist anyway. So the super high waist is high waist but I really like the fact that they're kind of more of a wax coated jean as opposed to a faux leather. So these are, how much are these? 15 pounds in black. They've got a nice little buckle here, but I actually think I would take this belt part off and just have them plain or a different belt with them because these clasps, I don't know, they're not the easiest to work, but yeah. I probably just put my own belt with them. Okay, I actually got quite a bit of like accessories, homeware, that kind of thing as well within this haul. So the first one I wanted to show you is this bag. How beautiful that is showing up gorgeous on camera. It's like got a glisten to it. It's again part of the Stacey Solomon range. It is £10 and it's a little beaded bag. I have one like this from Mango in clear beads. They're very weighty bags, but they're just a nice, evening bag that you just throw your purse and phone in there you're good to go it's not the most practical bag because it is obviously open but it's just it adds a little glitz and glamour to a, a an outfit that may be you know festive season party season you might have some functions coming up or christmas balls or christmas work dinners or anything like that, that i think this would be a nice little jump up from your everyday bag. I have been loving scrunchies, even just as an accessory on your wrist to just always have out and about on the go. I hate wearing my hair down, fun fact about me. I don't hate it, but I pretty much will style it and then the day after styling, maybe the day after that, so like two days after styling, I will wear it up until it needs a wash. Well, it, it needs a wash, which is why I wear it up. Anyway, I just, hair on my face and like here and I get hot and I actually much prefer to wear my hair up. If I'm having an at home day, you will very rarely knock on my front door and I open it with my hair down. The only time I wear it down is if I'm out and about. So scrunchies. I loved both of these so I couldn't choose between the two. They're only two pound each so I just picked them both up. These ones have a nice chenille kind of fabric to it and I love all three colours of that one whereas this one has a nice neutral black nude and leopard which I feel like leopard is the neutral of patterns. This one in particular is the colour that I love. It's like a nice satin fabric. It's like the silk ones or the what are they called scrunchie no what are they called what are the really nice expensive scrunchies silky ones called i can't remember but these are like the perfect dupe for that and i sort of practical number now again in my beige and neutral palette these two pack of gloves are just handy to have like a pair in each handbag that I have so or like one in my car and one in the house. It was a pound for a pack of two which you can't really go wrong with, mega mega bargain and would make a cute little stocking filler, maybe a little gift idea there. If you haven't seen my gift guides by the way I've done a whole playlist because I did that many so I'll leave that linked but um yeah, moving on to the next item, which is a three pack of necklaces. Again, maybe another nice little gift idea. These are only three pounds, so a pound per necklace, it works out very affordable. I have a festive little speed clean. You guys loved my autumnal one, so I'm going to be doing a Christmas one again this year. And for that, I have picked up these three pack of microfiber cloths. Oh no, it's four pack. Oh no, it's five pack. <laughs> five pack of microfiber cloths at how much is this £1.50 and they are of course seasonal so I thought I would get these to include within that video I mean not the most exciting thing but if you're a hinge lover like I am then this could be something that you might like the look of and I also did a hamper gift guide idea which I included a Mrs Hinch hamper 
hashtag hint champa. So these could be a nice little addition within that if you are buying for someone um, and doing like a hinch hamper and doing it festive edition, then they could be a nice little addition to that. I also picked up these. Now these are centered room sachets, which I've bought in the past. They're £1.50 for a pack of one, but the festive editions come in a two pack. So they are £3. Kind of annoying because I would have liked to have got one of each. They had winter spice and what's the other one called? Is it festive? Oh god, I can smell them, they smell good. I can't remember what the other one are, but they're white. Fe uh, um. I went for this one, which is winter spice, pimento and nutmeg. And I like to put one in this wardrobe and one in the spare room, which has a clothes rail. So it's kind of like a semi-secondary walk-in wardrobe. So yes, two pack, three pound, smell amazing. And then the last item that I picked up was this 2020 diary. I thought this would be, again, a nice little gift idea. I love the look of it. It's got like a metallic finish on the front with the leopard print. This is such a gorgeous beige leopard print that I couldn't resist. It was £3 and I think, I mean, it's just a plain notebook and also diary for 2020. Isn't that such a satisfying year, 2020? I feel like 2020 is going to be a good year. I feel like I might be in a new house in 2020, so plenty of moving vlogs. I feel like the world is my oyster with 2020. I love even numbers. That just makes me happy. So that is everything that I have picked up over the last month or so from Primark. I know it's not much for me considering my Primark hauls are usually humongous, but I honestly haven't been that inspired to buy anything new from Primark other than the bits that I've got. If I end up picking any more items throughout December, I will of course let you guys know and probably show you over on my Instagram. As always, I style everything up over on my Instagram and do outfits of the day over there pretty much every day. So that rounds off today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for my next one and I hope to see you all then. Bye guys!